going to play Division One football, going to the NFL is like a far, far, far dream. So like, as a young kid, like you're kind of humbled all the time about about like because the people around you they're like, oh, it's too hard, you're not gonna make it, and all that stuff. Like, and, you know, I mean, you don't even speak English properly or whatever. Like, you're not gonna make it. So for me, I kind of listened to that when I was younger, and I was like, oh, I'll just play football for fun and just you know, just kill some time, you know, there in my in my in my week, you know, I can just play football, be with my friends, all, all that stuff. I didn't have that goal yet, that ultimate goal to make it to the big leagues and stuff like that until. Really, my parents, when I was 16, they were like, you watch all these Nike camps or rival camps on YouTube, on the TV and all that stuff, but you never sign up for one. Like, why Why don't you just sign up for one? Like, my parents just saw the potential in me and they saw that I could do it, but I just didn't see it in me because of like the negative feedback around me that I was around. So I was like, all right, I just signed up for one. And the first, first one that I ever did was a Michigan camp, a three-day camp, a Michigan summer camp in, back in 2015. And actually, no, I did an NUC camp in New York like a couple months before. Then I went to Michigan camp and I got a scholarship and I kind of sparked the whole thing. After that, I was like, oh, I can really make this happen. So now I started putting some work. I started like running track, like seriously with the track team. I started lifting and I wish I would have known that like earlier because I would have been even a better player because I was just playing for fun. But now I really started getting like a real schedule and putting a lot of work in. I was at the field like every day. I was at the field every day doing some footwork stuff, doing some break stuff, playing, high pointing the ball, catching all that stuff. You consistently have to work on that because I mean, you know, like other position, like you can, you might get, you might slip away with it and might not, you know, be able to, might, might not have to get that much work in on your technique and your craft and all that stuff. But at DB, if you really want to be good in the league, especially in the league where everybody is gifted athletically, it's your technique that's going to take over. So that's why I've been working on this so like for a long time and it shows in my, on my film. Yeah, definitely, especially in my position with all the motion, all that stuff, it kind of like preps you to like understand pre-snap what's going to happen and making sure that you're ready to to, to know what's going to happen, when emotion from the other side, what play you're going to go to. And also just the fact that he runs with a 10 yard, 15 yard head, like, sprint you really got to have your feet activated and be quick like imagine julio jones coming in with 15 yards of sprint like against a corner like that's that's just crazy so yeah definitely definitely made me a little bit better sports been around a lot obviously i'm from canada I started playing hockey at like five i uh, played soccer played basketball ran track in high school and then started focusing on, on football towards the end started running track i was like I would say 16 or 17, and then I did 16, 17, 18, 19. So I did it for like three years with the track club and just understanding the running motion, understanding how to stride, how to use your speed and all that stuff. And it helps you just get faster in your 40 and it helps your technique. Like some of the technique that they were teaching guys is like while we, was going, while we was going through the combine process, I already knew that from like way back when, because I did track. So it definitely helps. and. Just doing different sports, like, you know, my agility going side to side and be able to bend and move. I got that from playing hockey, being able to high point the ball and jump over people and all that stuff. I got that from playing basketball. So I definitely recommend, like, all the kids to play multiple sports because it helps. He to win every single one of them, just like he wanted to win every single one of them. We knew that, you know, I was CB1, he was wide receiver one, so um, it could be one-on-one, -on -one, Oklahoma drills, scrimmage, seven-on-seven, -seven, whatever. We were finding each other to make each other, you know, better. You know, as as a lot of people say, iron sharpens iron, so that's how we, we took it in practice. I think, I think our practice battles were better than the game because he was probably one of the best receivers in the Big Ten, so our battles in the one-on-ones were probably better than some stuff you see in the game. What motivates me to, to to really not hit the snooze button is this this fear of, of being average, you know? I have goals, I have potential to reach, to be great, to be legendary in what I do on and off the field. And uh, this fear of just being, of missing that, of being a shoulda, coulda, woulda type of person. I don't want to be that person. I don't have something very precise. I don't like to have something very precise, but I mean, as a rookie, I want to have an instant impact and kind of how I go. I just let things come, you know, I want to have an instant impact, but I want to be how my, mo my motto 
uh, how I go about life is be 1% better than I was yesterday. And that's what we said, Minnesota, changing, change, change your best. So whatever I did yesterday wasn't good enough on the field or whatever, or off the field. And if you go about that in your life, you'll keep reaching up new levels and you keep reaching up new goals. And you don't have to put something specific, like let's be an all pro. If you do that, if you keep getting better every day, 1% better every day, you'll reach that all pro. And then by the time you reach all pro, you'll be a Hall of Famer and stuff like that. So I don't have to put specific goals. I just gotta get better. A new Benjamin, a better Benjamin every day. Off the field, I'm just a good person in general. You know, like I, I'll be, I'll be seen around, I'll be around people, I'll be around the fans, I'll be doing some community stuff and all that stuff. On the field, I'm one of the elite competitors. Like, you know, I compete. You know, I'm one of those guys that will compete. I'm one of those shutdown corners. You know, so press, man, off, whatever, all that stuff. They can say that in Benjamin, they have a true shutdown corner. That like, let's say we're playing against this big receiver, we're gonna match up Benjamin on it and there'll be a shutdown game, you know? I want to be that guy that'd be like, oh, we're looking forward to that one-on-one -on -one matching against him because they know how good I am and my coverage skills and all that stuff. Consistency and motivation, you know, it's, it's, it's good. Like, you know, they say, you know, the, 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 the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately, you know? Like my dream of going D1 and going to the NFL, that's fine, but I had to put in a lot of work and sacrifice a lot of things. So you might have to sacrifice going out, going to parties, the girlfriends, the girls, the other friends that, you know, maybe don't play football and they want you to do some other stuff, sacrifice a lot of stuff so you can focus on the dream. And also take advantage of your thing. You know, I'm a football player, like I reached into to the NFL, but in that process, I was able to graduate with a 3-0 from Michigan and get a master's in Minnesota with a 3-7. So, you know, maximize your opportunities because obviously football ain't gonna be there that long. So you gotta, you know, you gotta be somebody after that. You know, what are you gonna do after that? You gotta build your identity around. You don't wanna be that guy that they say, oh, he was a football player. No, I'm a football player, but I do this, this, and this after that. So maximize your opportunity and use football and use the other stuff to balance it out and create your identity.